Hi, welcome to Calvary Church Wawa this morning. We're excited to be in your homes and on your phones and tablets, wherever you may be watching today. Well, today I want to share with you from the outside of uh, outside in the nice fresh air. It's a nice and sunny day today, so we thought we would record today. You'll see in behind me, you'll have a view of the town of Wawa. And uh, I, I like this view because our church and, and our home is, is right there. Um, we're just in behind on a hillside, uh, away from a lot of people. There's actually nobody up here at all, so we're, we're pretty isolated at this time. Well, let's get into God's Word this morning. I want to share with you from Matthew chapter 28, starting at verse 16. It says this, Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, and behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. We're continuing just our, our few of our lessons. Uh, uh, Easter was a few weeks ago and we've been sharing uh, if you've called our 705-856-2837, um, if you've been calling that number and, and uh, listening to the daily devotionals, um, this is all part of, of what's been happening after Jesus died and after he rose from the grave. I mean, that's, that's so awesome to celebrate. Well, let's get right into this. Last December, we spent a few Sundays recognizing the advent of Christ. Each candle that was set in this pine needle wreath that was made up, it represented a different part of the coming of Christ. One candle represented hope and another represented love and one more peace. Uh, uh, don't forget joy. And last, uh, the last candle that we was representing, it represented Jesus Christ and the birth of our Savior. Well, during the series of messages that we've, we've discovered that, that ever since the beginning of creation, the devil has been trying to foil God's plans. One might say he is persistent in doing everything he can to keep God's creation apart from the Creator. Well, friends, the devil is, I hate to say this, he's doing a good job. Ever since Genesis chapter 3, we found out that God told Satan that there would be one who would crush his head. God prophesied an event that would be taking place and, and ever since then the devil has been causing all kinds of strife to interfere with God's creation. You and I, mankind. At Christmas we focused on the events surrounding Christ's birth and remember there were no inns available for Mary and Joseph and, 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 and the unborn baby Jesus just yet. Uh, there was a jealous king uh, uh, who slaughtered every male two-year-old boy in hopes of, of one of them being Jesus. And then in the life of Jesus, he even had all the religious leaders accuse him of, of blasphemy and heresy. You see, Jesus was part of God's plan for mankind. Jesus is God's plan for mankind and Satan has is doing everything he can to stop it when Jesus was crucified on the cross the devil was pretty excited he did it he must have thought he, he stopped the plan for mankind this Jesus who's supposed to be the savior of the world can't even save himself you see that's the very words that Satan messed up. Satan forgot that Jesus had the authority over life and death. Jesus had the authority of creation. Jesus had the authority 
And Jesus knew that mankind needed to pay for our sins. And the penalty of sin is, is separation from God. In other words, the penalty of sin is death, Romans tells us. Now, if you and I had to pay the penalty of sin, our punishment would be death. Our, our destination would not be heaven, but it would be a place that is isolated from God. You got it. We call it hell. When Jesus died on the cross, the Bible says that he took the weight of our sin. He took the weight of, this, of our sin on his shoulders. The devil thought, aha, I got you, Jesus. But see, Jesus was without sin. He was righteous, and he is the only person that has ever walked this earth who could do this when he died on the cross friends he paid the penalty of sin in full he became our substitute my heart is not pure your heart is not pure we don't have righteousness to pay for each other's sins but jesus did his righteousness paid the penalty of death. That's good news, isn't it? Death was the penalty. Someone had to pay it, and Jesus did. In fact, we are reassured of this payment because the same Jesus who could tell the wind and the rain to stop, that the same Jesus who could heal the sick, give sight to the blind, give life to the death, dead, the same Jesus came back to life. The great plan has been accomplished. Christ has died and risen, friends. Our sins have been paid for. Death has been defeated. And eternal life awaits all who joined to Christ. You know, but we're up on a hillside here overlooking the great town of Wawa. Imagine being on that mountain in Galilee. You're up there waiting, having heard that the resurrected Jesus was, was coming. He was coming to meet you there. And then he arrives. On a mountain, friends, you can see for miles all around. It feels as if you're looking over the whole world. Yet if you look up, you feel tiny and as if you could fall from your perch at any moment. Many ancient people believed that the mountains were the place where heaven and earth met. Jesus had chosen the ideal spot to tell his disciples that he has all authority in heaven and earth everything that the disciples can see all around above them below them belongs to the lord and savior jesus christ with the world spread around them jesus tells his followers they need to spread the news they need to make new disciples of Jesus. They need to bring God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit to new believers. And they can do all that because he will always be right there with them. Remember, it's not because of my heart that I, I my heart is not pure. My heart is not righteous. But Jesus is his righteousness because of his righteousness I can share the good news of hope the good news of salvation the good news of peace of love to my friend here in Wawa this story continues every day as as we share with the world around us that our sins are paid for that death is defeated and eternal life awaits for us in Jesus Christ. Friends, I share this message with you today 
to to share with you that this town of Wawa, this beautiful town of Wawa, is full of people who don't know where their destination is, who don't realize that there's a penalty for sin that without Jesus in our their hearts, without Jesus in their lives, without a savior, without recognizing who Jesus is, their destination is not going to be heaven. No one likes to say that, and but the Bible is truth, friends. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And so my prayer for you today is that as we overlook our, our beautiful town of Wawa, as we, as we can see for, for kilometers and miles, and, and we can see far, 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 God can see even better. He sees us with the lens of heaven. His grace is available. His grace is sufficient. His, his love is always extending. His arms are always extended for you today. So if you can, if you hear my voice, if you hear this message today that God loves you, believe it. That Jesus paid the price for our sins, believe it. That Jesus rose from the grave and the same power that raised, rose Jesus from the grave lives in you and me. The reason that is for is because we will spend eternity in heaven. But I don't want to go there without sharing that with our friends. So know the good news of Jesus. Share the good news of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we come to you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you for your mercy and your grace. Thank you for your all-sufficient authority. Lord, you are creator of heaven and earth, and Lord, we are only but your creation. And sometimes, as your creation, we can wander away, we can get lost, we can get ourselves in trouble. But Lord, you're the good father. You always welcome us home. You always call us home. You always invite us to the table. And so, Lord, as, as we come to the table, as we come to you, Lord, draw, draw us and draw our neighbors and, and draw our friends and family. That they may know Jesus, that they may know his love to share with others. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for listening to our message today. You know what, uh, uh, as, as the news unfolds and, and businesses and, and, and life will be, will be slowly getting back to normal, I, I, if we can call this normal, I encourage you, if, you're, if you don't have a home church, I encourage you, if you don't know Jesus and you want to know Jesus, give us a call, um, leave a message private um what do you call that pm uh private message on facebook if you will or or or, or call us the, the phone number will be on the link or maybe it's been a long time since you've been away from god you've been running away from god you've been isolating yourself from god because you're just not sure what what is happening you're just not sure who and where and what you should be doing or what God's plan is in all this. Well, friends, I, I invite you to come back to church. The church is just on Government Road, just right there across from the hospital. I invite you to come in. In fact, there's been quite a few people who haven't been in church for, for a good two months now, a month and a, a little bit. And, uh, uh, and so you won't be alone. <laughs> You're not alone. When everybody is able to come back into the church, once that uh, day arrives, we're all going to be uh, starting afresh. And so wouldn't that be cool to uh, have you join with us to come back to Christ, come back to Jesus, and, uh, and, and, and surrender your life back to him. Have a good day and thank you so much for listening. Uh, we pray for you and your family. God bless.